The sunshine may be calling you outside, but authorities are doubling down on their warnings about rising waters, saying many shorelines are just a dangerous place to be right now. This after crews in Shakopee had to make two separate rescues on the Minnesota River over the weekend. One was a hiker who was swept away by rising waters. The other was a bicyclist who encountered some similar conditions. Our Courtney Godfrey spoke to authorities about all the dangers out there. She's joining us live in Bloomington with what you need to know right now as these waters are rising. Courtney? Well, Kelsey, Amy, uh, the fact of the matter is Minnesota rivers are not safe right now. They are unpredictable. They are fast moving and they're downright dangerous. Here in Bloomington at the Welkie Trail, they've put up signs to warn of the flooding dangers after two rescues happened on this trail over the weekend. But we've seen several people passing through and ignoring those warnings. The gentleman called our 911 and said that he was stuck, he was in the mud, and that he had been clinging to a tree. Two water rescues in less than eight hours, both on this now flooded stretch of the Wilkie River Trail. It may not look that deep right now, but it does have several holes and it's 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 unpredictable located along the Minnesota River. This trail is usually a scenic connection between Shakopee and Bloomington, but thanks to recent heavy rains, it's now a danger to anyone who comes down here as that water level increases. People aren't really paying attention to their surroundings and that you know that's why we're here today. Shakopee Deputy Fire Chief Dave Giddings says in both incidents Saturday the individuals underestimated the water's depth and tried to pass requiring a large response from multiple agencies to save them. If it's just for a daily hike, you can go do another activity. Like, it's not worth putting yourself in danger because it puts our crews in danger as well. Sergeant Marshall Emerson with Scott County Sheriff saying while the water may appear calm, depth drops off quickly. The water is still quite cold and currents can be unexpectedly strong as he urges everyone to resist the urge to test it and instead turn back. With the, uh, with the rain coming, that's predicted, it, it's it's going to change. It could go up, it could go down, but it's gonna be quite some time before this is available to the public. Just like when you're driving and you encounter water in your car, authorities say, do what you would do then, which is stop and turn around. But with more rain in the forecast, they are not expecting these water levels to go down any time soon, and they have uh, no time frame for when this trail could reopen. Reporting live tonight in Bloomington, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.